What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your website load faster within a browser. Page load time is something that's very important to focus on. It's important for your website visitors and also for the search engines. Google considers page load time to be a ranking factor. So in this video I'll introduce you to a plugin that will help you reduce your HTTP requests by merging your CSS and JavaScript files. It will also minify your CSS and JavaScript files at the same time, as well as minifying the outputted HTML. All right, so what am I talking about? Let's go to the incognito window here. I'm going to look at view page source, and we see this is the generated HTML. It's very easy to read, but it's also a larger file size. And the larger the file size is, the slower the page load time will be. All right, so what can we do? As I mentioned, there's a plugin for that. Actually, there's a bunch of plugins to do this, but there's one in particular that I've been meaning to do a review on, and I'm finally able to do that. All right, so we'll go here to the dashboard. we we'll go to plugins. We're going to go to add new, fast velocity minify. All right, so real quick, before I actually install this, let me show you how you can gauge the weight of your web page. And what do I mean by that? Well, the weight of a web page can vary depending on how many images you have, how many files you're calling in, how many lines of code there are, and things of that nature. So what I'll do is I'll go over here to Network. I'm going to reload. I'm in my Google Developer Tools right here. And as we can see, we have 22 requests. I'm going to bring this up over here. We have uh, 720 kilobytes transferred. And we see the finish time is 972 milliseconds. The document object model content loaded is 935 milliseconds and the load time overall is 974 milliseconds. All right, so this is our baseline, 22 files, and let's see what we can do now with the plugin. Let's install and now let's activate. Once you activate it, it's going to be set with some default settings, but you could always change them if you want by going to the settings link over here or over here in the settings section. So you can go to settings. And this is where you can decide which options you want to have. As you can see, we have uh, HTML minification. By default, it's already on. By default, it's removing the emojis and the smileys. It's uh, disabling the Google Fonts merging. And if you want, you can inline your Google Fonts CSS. Or you could remove Google Fonts entirely. Now, these are the CSS options over here. These are the JavaScript options, but they are set by default. So if you want to disable them, you would do so here. And these are the advanced options. Now, some of these options are going to definitely improve the um, score you'll get on Google Page Speed Insights, but you might have some broken functionality, so you want to be careful with it and test it before you commit to leaving them enabled. All right, so we're not going to change anything in the settings area over here. We'll just leave it the way it is. And let's see what the response time is going to be. Go back to that incognito window. Remember, we have 22 requests, 720 kilobytes transferred, and a final load time of 974 milliseconds. Now we will have to reload this page twice because the first time is going to process all the files. And then the second time we'll see the savings in time. All right, so let's reload. All right, so we see that it's already processed everything. It did take some time because I had to do the initial settings for it, but we only have nine requests being um, made of the server at this point, which is significantly less than the uh, 22 that we had before. And you can see we only have 681 kilobytes transferred. Let's reload a second time. And now you can see that, again, still nine requests, 681 kilobytes transferred, finish time of 614 milliseconds, document object model content loaded 689 milliseconds and a final load time of 697 milliseconds now that's a considerable savings right there so this plugin is doing its job in terms of reducing the http request and reducing the file size of the page loaded all right so now let's look at the page source this is your html that's generated fully minified so that's that it's a very easy plugin to use all you do is install it the default settings will be enabled. If you want to fine tune it, go right ahead and do so, but just make sure you test out each level of functionality because not all themes or plugins will work well with this plugin itself. All right, so that's it. That's the plugin that we use to speed up our website. It's called Fast Velocity Minify. Look at the details. Again, you can see that it has five star reviews, 30,000 plus active installations, and it does what it says it's going to do. It merges your JavaScript files and your CSS files. It reduces the number of HTTP requests. 
and it minifies your CSS and JavaScript and HTML at the same time. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon. If you want to learn how to develop a WordPress theme, check out the DevWP training theme video series that I have. The link will be in the card section and in the description section down below. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Take care.